A program without some sort of interaction with the user is no program at all. In this video, we will see how we can get input from the user by using the scanner class and the system out print line method. So what I've done so far is to create a new project like we did in the previous videos. And I've created in the source folder a package called com.reading.input.scanner. And then I created a new Java class called reading input. In that class, I've created the main method. So basically nothing new. Uh, so what I want to do is to create those same two variables that we created in the previous video. So I'm going to say first number and I'm going to also declare second number. But now instead of just assigning values to first number and second number and working out the average, we could ask the user for some input. So in order to ask the user for input, we need to use a class called the scanner class. Now the scanner class is basic, basically a class that helps me to read input from a specific source. So in this case, we're going to read the input from the keyboard, whatever the user types. So I'm declaring a variable here and I'm going to call this variable keyboard equals and because we're using classes the new keyword creates a new object of a class but we'll do classes and objects later on so just memorize this one line of coding as basically the line of coding that helps you to set up reading from the keyboard so it's going to be new scanner and then what the scanner class then accepts is system.in so basically what we're doing here is we're saying we're creating a new scanner object and this scanner object on this variable saved in the variable will be able to read input from the keyboard and it's not because the name there is keyboard remember that name you can name anything we can make it a kb there for keyboard it reads the data from the keyboard so now in order to read something from the user or to get some input from the user we must first ask the user to enter something so we're going to print out to the screen please enter the first number something like this and then if we go to the new line now so we ask the user the question please enter the first number now we need to get the input back from the user and whatever the user typed i want to save now into the first number variable remember in the previous video we just said first number was equal to 11. so instead of now saying it's equal to 11 let's let the user decide what the first number must be so we ask the user please enter the first number and then as soon as we call the following kb is now referring to that scanner variable there the keyboard or kb dot and you'll see that there's some next methods there's a next int that will read an integer from the user there's a next byte that will read a byte from the user or a short or a big decimal or a boolean or a double or a float and then you'll see that there's no next string method but the next line method there you can see returns back a string from the user so in this case our first number is declared as an integer so we want to use the next int method that will return an integer from what the user entered now let's do the same thing again we say please enter the second number and we get the second number from the user so how do we get the second number into the second number variable we're going to save kb again which is the connection to the scanner class that will read input from the keyboard and we're going to call please read from us an integer from whatever the user types on the keyboard so we're getting back an integer and that integer will be saved into second number the same we did there now let us work out the average so again we're going to say double average as we did in the previous video but now I want to define this in one line so you can see I'm declaring the variable double the variables type will be double double the name of the variable is average and now I'm going to assign it in the very same line so let's see how we're going to do this now because now the same as the previous video we need to get the first number plus the second number and then the answer of that divided by 2.0 Remember why we have the, the dot zero there? It's for inter, integer division so that Java do not throw away the decimal part. So that's the average. And then we can just print out the average and say the average is, and then just show the value of the average, which will be 100% fine. So let's, let's just run this one quickly. Right, so you can see then 
it basically gives me please enter the first number now the user can type the first number let's say 11 please enter the second number 20 and then it will print out the average is 15.5 if i run it again i can use different values there this is the one we used in the previous video so let's take 3 and 5 which will give me 8 divided by 2 will also give me 4.0 okay so i think the program is working at this stage so this is how you get input from the user by using one of the next methods so let's just try another example and let's let's work with strings a bit so we're going to have string name and we're going to have string surname just like in the previous video and again now we want to ask the user please enter your name and we wait for the user to enter his name so now while they wait for the user to enter his name we're going to say well to the name variable i want to go and save whatever the user types now so again going back to the keyboard the connection to the keyboard via the scanner class and i'm going to call one of the next methods so in this case it's only the next line method that returns back a string for me so i'm going to use the next line method that next line method will read whatever the user typed and it will bring it back to me as a string so now we're going to ask the user again please enter your surname and then we're going to say surname equals kb connection to the keyboard dot next line again but because we're working with strings and that will read whatever the user typed and then we can just print out to the screen let's just say name and a space and surname right so let's just see how this one works so you can see there we ask the user please enter your name the user enters the name the next line method gets the name for me and saves it into the name variable well, then we ask the user please enter your surname the next line method gets that surname as a string or as text and it saves it into the surname variable and then we print out both so let's just see how this one runs okay so we're going to enter the first number again let's just say one and two and then you can see there it says please enter your name but it didn't give me chance to back actually enter my name but it moved on to the surname so let's just say the surname will then be rambo and then you can see it only prints out rambo so the problem here is in this line it doesn't allow me to enter my name so this is one thing also you need to remember with with uh, working with java and with these next methods if you've used one of the next methods which isn't the next line method so it could be next int next short next byte next boolean next double any of the primitive types uh, just not the the string one or the next line one then after using the next int or the next double or the next whatever method you try to use the next line method it will have this specific problem but if we only worked with strings now we wouldn't have got that problem now so basically what happens when you call the next int method and the user clicks on enter that enter of the keyboard actually creates a new line character in the buffer of the computer and the next int method is designed to basically just jump over that new line character and just basically read the value whereas the next line method is not designed to do that so actually what we do then after you use next int or next double and you want to use next line you will just call this one by saying kb dot next line which will consume the new line character for us and then we can proceed as normal so when do you do this this extra line there basically only when you've got a next int next double next short next byte next boolean and then directly after that you're using the next line method then just remember to add this just kb dot next line so it consumes that character for us and then we can actually proceed with the rest of our program so if you run it now you'll see by just adding that one single line it will now work 100 percent now it asks me what's my name my name is john my surname is rambo and then it prints out john rambo let's just run it again All right the name peter pollock and there's peter pollock so now we got input from the user and we're using that input to do something in this case just printing it back out to the screen so this is reading input from the user using the scanner class